Hello! I'm Eric Zimmerman. I'm Colleen Macklin. And welcome to Iron Game Designer at ADK 2011. Yeah. Yeah. Iron Game Designer is a session where people are making games before their very eyes. And you guys get to help them out by helping choose the, the theme and, and voting on the winner and participating and, and maybe even making some of the games themselves. Ooh, there's a special twist to the session. The, the purpose of Iron Game Designer is to not just have a fun-filled uh, sort of game show activity at, at uh, IndieK that, that breaks the mold of uh, regular sessions, but also to give you guys an insight into what it's like to design a game, into game prototyping. Um, and also, we just want to say we're very indebted to Mark LeBlanc, who first uh, started doing Iron Game Designer at the Game Author Conference many years ago, so this is very much inspired by him. Um, Absolutely. Anything else, Colleen, that we need to explain before we get rolling? I think that's about it. All right, well, let's introduce our team captains. Steve Swink, uh, yeah. independent game designer, uh, known, for, uh, known for his work on Shadow of Physics and other games. Um, Miles Nye, a uh, independent game designer, who, who rumor has, has worked for the Survivor uh, Survivor. We'll see if he survives this challenge. Oh, well oh. put. And lastly, Catherine Hurtleck. For street games, so we actually have three very different kinds of game designers here, and uh, it's going to be a very exciting session. I think the first thing we need to do is give them their headbands, right, Colleen? I think so. All right. Well, let, who should get which color? I think Steve Swing should get pink. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. And I should get fly. <laughs> He's a blue kind of guy. That means Catherine Hurt like uh, gets the the, the white color. And, um, and please put on your headbands. And the others are for your, your teammates. Now, each team captain uh, is going to be able to pick one co-captain from the audience. And then we will select the other two members of each team randomly from those cards that some of you filled out. Um, so, uh, uh, Colleen, who, who gets to go first? Pick a team captain. Um, I think Catherine should go first. All right, Catherine, you get the first pick. Team captain from the audience. Co-captain, who do you think? Oh, she's doing it. Oh, we're the ride! We better oh. come out and play the ball. Long time for those operators. Thanks for Brian. Miles. Nick Fortuno. Oh, Nick Fortuno! I see. I think it must be something. Yeah. Uh, it's Dean Swing. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Richard. Oh, oh. 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 Antimatter, I heard. Antimatter. Fish Army. 
Fish farming. Fish farming. Stock market. Stock market. Modern warfare. Apple pie. Modern warfare. All right. Okay. Uh, we've got number 12. Tabloids. Tabloids. Infidelity. Political fidelity. Political fidelity 15. So it got, it's got to be the next five. Right? It has to be the next five. James really did a funny little joke to that. So we're yeah, going yeah, so, so to one of the James. next five. Let's hear some more themes you haven't heard yet. Batman. 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 Persuasion. 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 Persuasion.
The Amish are going to be under their long bloody rivalry with the Quakers. Springer. 
So apparently, the Rungspringer is what happens to Amish people when they're 18. They get a chance to go out into the world and decide whether or not they're going to devote themselves to the Amish way of life or to the sinful way of the world. So in this game, you have two teams of two, and they have to move the banana up the stairs to the very top and eat the banana when they get there. And the team that eats the banana first at the top wins. Forbidden fruit. It, but you cannot move the banana except between your legs. I mean, you can, but the use of hands is considered a uh, shunnable offense. It's a piece of technology that's not accepted by the Amish way. Whereas right, sticking a banana in your crotch is obviously well accepted by the Amish. Everyone knows this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, so uh, let's get started. And if you find something to be shunnable, not in the spirit of the game, I need you to call it out. And uh, we'll impose some penalties on them for their way of behavior. Oh, this is a fabulous technique. I really like this, uh, the spirit of the coil. I'm not the penalties. Oh, my God. So the name of this game is I Cast It Off the Modern World. And it too is based on the Rome Springer, this idea that um yes. Uh, that, uh, that in adolescence, um, what the Amish will choose, will like, have a year to leave the, the community and uh, go explore the modern world and then come back into the fold, right? Um, and so in this game, this is in, it's something that's, you know, that is accepted, but it's very often hard for the community to accept that they, these people are leaving. So in this game, there's five players which represent the, uh, the community, and they're trying to hold in the two adolescents and those guys in the middle who are trying to escape. Um, and each one is, has to eat the banana, which represents modernity, and be the first to consume the banana and then re-enter the community by getting back into the circle. Go! And they're off! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, they're trying to make, they're moving, oh! They're fighting for one banana! That is an interesting part, there's another banana over here, you guys. Oh boy, the banana can be consumed. Online. Let's hear it for all of our designers and thanks. 